Okay, so when using the manual blood pressure machine, make sure that the knob on the pump is turned all the way to the right. Otherwise, you won't be able to pump air into the cuff. And the meter gauge here allows you to see how much air you have pumped by seeing how high the number gets. To hear the pulses on your participant, use the stethoscope. Make sure that the prongs or the ear pieces on the stethoscope are facing forward, not backwards, when inserting into your ear and double check that the stethoscope is turned on by twisting and tapping. If you hear the tapping sound, that means that obviously it is turned on. Otherwise, if you don't hear the tap, you will not be able to hear your participant's pulse. Okay, so to use the blood pressure cuff on your participant, have them sit comfortably in the chair for at least five minutes and have them place their left arm on the table. To begin, find their brachial pulse, which is usually on the inside of your arm. So it should be around here. And make a mental note of where the pulse is. Okay, so then we're gonna wrap the cuff around our participant's arm and make sure this part is where the artery is. And we're gonna wanna wrap it snug, but not too tight. We just wanna make sure it does not slip off of our participant's arm while we are trying to take their blood pressure. So this is fine. Right. Okay. So we're gonna put the stethoscope in our ear and place the diaphragm over where the brachial pulse was, around here. And then we're gonna squeeze the knob to pump some air into the cuff. So we're going to pump air into the cuff and bring it up to at least 200 millimeters of mercury. And then you're going to stop pumping. And in order to let some air out, turn the knob a bit to the left. And you're going to want to uh, make sure that you keep track of where you hear the first Kordakoff sound. That is going to be your systolic pressure. So I hear it at 100. And then you're going to see the meter bounce for a bit and take note of where you stop hearing sound. For me, it is around 55, and that is your diastolic pressure.